we are Rob and Ali from Rob and Ali Cruise and Travel sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. Mm. Where are we today Rob? We're on the Cunard Queen Elizabeth and we're going to take you on a complete tour of the entire ship. We're starting right here at the bottom in the Grand Lobby on deck one. And this is just spectacular. Also I just need to point out we have now found the solution to the difference in our heights so that you no longer just have the top of my head. <laughs> Here we go. We're on the staircase, the grand staircase, and Rob's on the bottom and I'm on the higher step. <laughs> so, <laughs> trouble is we can't bring the grand staircase with us everywhere we go. Never mind. This is the heart of the ship, the grand lobby. Here, all your business transactions take place. You have guest services over here. We have the tour desk over here. And for all your money exchanges and settling up your bill, we also have the purses office here as well. Bottom of the staircase, we have this beautiful flower display. And I know you get flowers displays everywhere on board ships. This is actually real flowers. And when you walk past, you get this beautiful, beautiful scent. It's really strong. Now, what I did read as well was, if you have a special occasion, or just because you want to let your hubby or your wife or your partner know that they are special on this, on this cruise, you can order fresh flower display from the guest services um, desk. Isn't that lovely? Um, it'll be as a charge, but anyway, this is magnificent and the smell is just superb. We also have a grand piano on here, baby grand. And we have seen, um, we've had quartets here and violins and all kinds of um, very soft chamber music in the afternoon and early evening that plays here. Very elegant, beautiful. This is the place you want to come to, to then navigate your way around the rest of the ship. This is probably the easiest way to do it. There's staircases and there are lifts here at the side as well. So use this to navigate your way front and back aft, forward, whichever way you like to say it. Restaurants are at one end and the theatres at the other. And that's pretty much it. You will then get to understand your lefts and your rights, forward and aft. Mm. So the only other things down here on the, um, the deck one are the entrance to the Royal Theatre and one of the conference rooms, Connections One. That pretty much rounds out deck one. We're here in the Britannia restaurant. This is the, the main dining room for your, I'm going to say standard passengers, because there, there are actually different, there are actually different restaurants depending on the class of, of um, accommodation that you booked. But we are in one of the Britannia class, which is the standard, and this is the Britannia restaurant, which is the main restaurant. And it's on two floors. Okay. The lower floor is for anytime dining and the upper floor is for the traditional set timing times dining early and late same menu up and down um, it's beautiful very intimate yep. dining lovely and this is deck two and three there are three sets of stairs and lifts on board the queen elizabeth aft midship and forward and there are four lifts at each of those um, locations nice big big poise and beautiful staircases i'm loving the styling of the ship look at look at this artwork right here and it's all over and down the corridor let's have a uh, let's have a wander down the corridor very traditional what is noticeably absent is the piped music everywhere and I quite like music in the background, but I have found on some of the um, cruises that we've been on, it just starts to grate after a while. This is lovely. It's just got that we, nice serene feel. To we it. won't mention the name of the cruise line, but one we were on recently had four songs on the pipe music that constantly rotated for nine days. <laughs> that was insane. Now, there is these artworks all down the um, down the side of the corridor here, and. Um, walking down to the, the grand lobby area in the ship. 
if you have the next level of stateroom, you get to enjoy the Britannia Club restaurant. And this is it. This is a beautiful, another beautiful restaurant. Slightly different styling. A little nice bit extra life. in terms of the uh, the setup with the plate chargers and yeah. actually Just that a little bit more style. A little bit more style. It does have the cut glasses. The uh, tableware is exactly the same. It is a beautiful room. What I would say is a bit more exclusive. I think this has been a smoking room. I can still smell smoke in here. It's, in fact, it's really strong, and I do know that um, smoke. It goes into the furnishings and into the wood and you can't get rid of it. And that's what I can smell in here. Can you smell it? Not really, no. No, okay. I'm just maybe very sensitive to it. At the heart of the Queen Elizabeth is the Grand Lobby. This is where the stairways to take us from the, th from the three main floors where the shops, restaurants, guest services, uh, can be located and the coffee shop the all-important coffee shop this is beautiful it's normally known as the atrium in a lot of ships but it's the uh, the grand lobby here and we have live music playing here throughout the day we've had uh, string quartets we have the baby grand piano it's a beautiful spot to come and meet and decide what you're going to do for the rest of the day grab your coffee or pop into the library. Let's go and pop into the library. Where in the world have you brought me now, Robert? <laughs> Look at this. This is beautiful. This is an antique globe, and this globe is situated in the library. The library is on two floors that you can access through this beautiful spiral staircase. Fabulous fabulous amount of books we've been told there are over 10,000 books I here. just asked the librarian now which other ship has a library with a librarian yes it has actually got the librarian here this is beautiful got to keep my voice low because it's um, a library it's, a library <laughs> and it's very quiet beautifully decked out now if you um, this is just off the the grand stairway here if you don't like using the steps, it's fine. The lifts are situated just outside, so you don't have to go wandering off to get from one level to the other. Nice and easy if you're not into the spiral staircase. Beautiful views over on this side. Lots of nice natural light to be able to read by. Um, and then mm. more upstairs, lots of places to sit. This is beautiful. There are a few people in here, so let's leave them to some peace. Yes. This is the Veranda Steakhouse. This is one of the specialty dining options. This is probably one of the most beautiful rooms I have seen on board a cruise ship. Look at this. I tell it's you what, that stunning. sea looks quite choppy today. I can feel it, yes. Lots of mirrors. It's just so elegant. The mirrors do make it feel like it's a lot larger than um, than it probably is, to be honest with you. I must just tell you, we, I must have penguins on the brain because when we were in Melbourne, we went to Phillip Island to see the penguins. When I came in here, I looked on the tables and I thought, oh, they've made the napkins into penguins. But it just, they <laughs> <laughs> look like little penguins. <laughs> just frame flip um, but we'll show the menu for this um, but this is beautiful for specialty dining let's move on as we look round from the grand lobby there's lots of little seating areas here um, where you can just drop, grab a cup of coffee take five out when there's music playing in the grand lobby um, you get to hear that on all three levels and it's quite beautiful that sort of chamber music playing in the background this room here this is just off the corinthia cafe another beautiful light uh, I think it's little part area. of the corinthia cafe actually i'm not sure i don't know but it's a nice it's a nice light bright area very comfortable seating on level two just off the grand lobby staircase is the very popular bustling corinthian ca uh, cafe sorry 
This is where you can get your specialty teas and coffees and they also have a limited menu which looks absolutely delicious and that's all included in the price although your specialty teas and coffees are not. This is very well frequented and it's very large. It's a lot bigger than what you think and it does um, it has waiter service in fact everywhere has waiter service it's absolutely beautiful um, and you don't have to wait a long time either for your waiter service it's lovely this isn't cafe-ish at all it's beautiful it's, do you know it reminds me very much of a gentleman's club as well as the beautiful artwork and um, statues and things and beautiful lights around the ship we also have this little arcade of memorabilia just in these glass cabinets here so there's old photographs a lot of the queen the queen is featured everywhere on board here as you would expect for a ship named the queen elizabeth and we've got these creepy dolls <laughs> <laughs> which oh they're, they're not that creepy they're smiling <laughs> But what we have noticed are, uh, yes, again, is it just us that's obsessed with having little teddies with captain's hats on and things? There's no Cunard teddy to collect. We think now we have a King Charles. We think they should have a little King Charles teddy, maybe. Very nice to collect. But yeah, so our girls were getting quite a collection, but not one on board this ship. Let's move on. We are in the Queen's room. This is where the ballroom is. Let me come and show you the ballroom. So they do dance, dance classes here, and then they do traditional ballroom dancing with your afternoon tea. And also they'll do classes in rumba and salsa and line dancing and the like. It is beautiful. This is the biggest ballroom floor on any board, any ship. So a ballroom floor is quite different to a dance floor because it is sprung. Um, it's got a stage and it has the, the band here as well. This is the Golden Lion Pub, home to live music, pub food, and traditional pub sports. We're still on level two. It's a hive of activity on level one, two, and three. So level two, we are just outside the Golden Lion pub. It's actually, it's a lot bigger than what you think, that pub. Um, here is a beautiful stairway with a clock. There's the Cunard clock. But we don't want to know about time, do we? It's, it's lovely and noisy and bright here because this is the casino on my right here. But this beautiful stairway will take you to the third floor, which will take us to the balcony of the theatre and also the shopping arcade. Let's go up and see that. On deck three, we find the shopping arcade. This is beautiful. This is just like a traditional shopping arcade, sort of the Victorian era that you would find in places like Adelaide, Melbourne, uh, Brisbane, and even Liverpool has one that looks like this as well. Let's have a pan round and have a look. We have the usual array of shops here from sunglasses, handbags, clothing, makeup and perfume, and liquor and tobacco. We can go and see the prices. Every one of them does say actually that there's a sale on and there are exclusives at different times and um, various giveaways and things to always look at. The noise that you can hear in the background sounds like a fun fair. It's actually the casino below and all the gaming machines, but it does give it that really exciting feel. It feels like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from there's no lights in Christmas, but it has that feel to it. It feels really exciting. We're heading off to the theatre now. This is on three floors. It is the size of a proper theatre. But as we're walking through, get a load of this. So we've got this little hidden lounge here. Now I think this must be for where you perhaps sit and have a drink before the 
before the show starts. Actually, it's funny you should say that because these boxes, let's go and have a look at these boxes because you, ac you, you actually rent these boxes, don't you? Yes. Well, <laughs> So it is it's sort of like a, oh my goodness, what? <laughs> oh, do you know what this is like? Have you ever been to the Royal Albert? No. Oh, this is what it's like. Uh, have you ever seen the Muppets? So, <laughs> <laughs> this so is what it's like. You have back stairway and you have your champagne in a little room like that and then you bring your champagne through. So yes, you can, you can hire these boxes and you get, I think you get um, little canapes, petit fours and your glass of champagne, I believe. And, um, that is lovely. The only thing is, I would say, if you sit on the bottom bit here, you have to look through the glass, and it is, it's very distorted with the lights on. That's all you can see is oh, the lights. I would suspect the lights are off. When the lights go off, I think that probably would be, would be good. Okay, so we'll have a quick look. At, I, you can see them down here, the different boxes, and there are quite a few boxes. One, two, three, four, what's it, five, six, seven, I think. Seven, I think, and but we can probably see them better over the other side. Seven, the seven boxes on each side. I was just going to add this onto the video, and I've just fallen down the stairs myself. So I was just going to make the point that the corridors um, and the lifts and the toilets very easily accessible by people who um, maybe have walking sticks or um, walking aids. However, in the theatre, um, I just uh, I wouldn't book. Um, I wouldn't Box. book one of these boxes if you had um, sight problems or difficulty in walking because it's all steps and like that one it was just a hidden step that I went down here and it's very very narrow this stairway so I would give that one a miss. Yeah we'll just have a if I just show you down here the, the pathway to the other boxes down here and you can see hopefully how windy narrow and the stairs. Just continuing on the um, disabled amenities in the theatre, we found this little box at the top where you don't have to come down any stairs at all. And it's here, no stairs. It does have the, um, it does have the little it's reserved a little area dark. I don't here. know whether you'll catch that, but they'd say, yeah, um, yeah, reserved for wheelchairs. You can see, the thing is, if you were here, the bar is right in front of you. Um, but you know, this is a nice secluded area if you just wanted to, I'm not saying took yourself away, but it's got a nice big sweeping area. You could get here. Yeah, really there's only two really seats, easy. so I'm not sure whether you actually need to book it or not. But um, it does say reserved, so maybe yeah, you do. Have maybe to you do. It. I would think so. And then at the back of the theatre, on the stall section, there is also wheelchair um, and reserved seating, sort of wheelchair spaces, and um, yeah, reserved there for, at the back. This is the second floor of the library. Now they've sectioned the library off into fiction and non-fiction. Fiction are up here on the upper level and the non-fiction are downstairs. And these are, look at this, wonderful set of books. As we move out of the upper section of the library, we're in the midship by the Grand Lobby. And we've got some lovely little seating areas here. You can still hear the um, the music that's played. Um, and we've got another another baby piano. Grand, baby grand piano over there. This is lovely, isn't it? So here we've got the alcove. Now, um, my mum used to love doing this. So as she used to go past this, when we've been on Cunard before, years ago, and um, they always have jigsaw puzzles and you're quite welcome to come and just find yourself a little piece to make the jigsaw puzzle so somebody's finished that one moving on we have the card room in here there's a huge selection of tables here for the card room beautifully laid out. I haven't seen any competitions in the um, itinerary, but I'm sure they would do. I'm sure they would have bridge competitions and things. Well, there is a board over in the corner that people have signed up for to play bridge. I can so. see bridge, yes, yes. That's the end of that section. On the other side over there, 
is um, it's the bar. Do you know what that bar was called? The Midships Bar. The Midships Bar. This looks lovely, a nice seating area here, <laughs> overlooking the, um, it's got nice windows on that side. Let's go over and have a look. The Midship Bar. This has got lovely little seating area, again, around the giant, the big staircase. And then at the edge here, looking out on those windows. Isn't that beautiful? Lots of leather seats around the bar here, and then more seating on the other side. And this will have its own set of cocktails. As ever, we will put all the menus and all the cocktails for you linked below onto our website. I have now put my specs on and this is because we're in a very special place. We are now in the art gallery. So this is a more of a traditional art gallery where the pieces that are out, what you see is what you buy. Everything has the price on it. The price includes the frame and shipped straight to your home. So there's no auctions. You can just come and uh, pick at your leisure and the price is fixed. This is a, a English based art gallery. They have limited edition pieces, they have some original pieces of art, and they also have some sculptures. This is the photo gallery. This is a beautiful section with mirrors along one side and portrait paint, portrait paintings, portrait pictures. Um, they have done the same thing on Cudenard that a lot of ships are now doing, where they do not print off all the photographs. They are here for you to look at on screens. And they've got nice seating areas here for you to be able to get the pictures on the screen and flip through them. On deck nine, we have the spa and wellness and beauty center. This is on both sides of the ship. Uh, the reception over on this side and aromatherapy and on the other side of the ship we have the treatment rooms and the salon this is the hair and beauty salon at the Marial spa this is known as a contemplation room it's a beautiful room with some nice chilled water at the end, there's some nice relaxing seats and you can just look out at sea. As you walk through the spa, past the treatment rooms, you come to the gym. The gym's equipped with all the latest equipment. It's got running machines, cycling machines, weights and um, I think they might run some courses as well. Moving out from the spa area on deck nine, we find some table tennis tables, which leads out to the pavilion pool. Now this is uh, one of the two pools on the Queen Elizabeth, with a bar in the corner, and a pool and spa, and some beds. There is some undercover area, uh, but the majority of this is out in the, uh, in the open sun. And then we come inside to the garden lounge. This is a beautiful covered area, glass covered area, very nice and warm in here. Plenty of seating and there's a band playing with the bar in the corner. This is the room where they also hold the bingo. From the garden lounge we move into the Lido buffet restaurant. Um, this is, uh, there's a lot of seating in here. This is the main buffet dining, it's included dining. Uh, it's also where they hold the afternoon tea, or hold an afternoon tea in the afternoons. There's an area here where you can create your own pizza. Uh, here are your choices of your toppings and uh, signature pizza over in the corner there. There's also a bank of drinks machines here where you can get juices, coffees, water, and uh, I'm not sure what. It Probably teas as well. Teas at the end. Here we go. Teas at the end. Yes. So uh, a good station for getting your drinks here. This Lido area runs pretty much, I think, down most of the uh, the ship. It's a very long area that uh, covers both sides of the ship. On some evenings, part of the Lido buffet restaurant is uh, is sectioned off in order to make the coriander restaurant. Now this is an Indian style uh, restaurant. Um, it is down here. It's alternative dining. It is a buffet style. 
and there is a cover charge of $25 and you do need to make a reservation for this. Now this is part of, as I said, the Lido restaurant and uh, it's called the Coriander. Outside from the back of the Lido buffet we find the Lido pool grill with burgers and hot dogs and the, uh, the second pool. It's fairly empty just at the moment but there's plenty of seating. This is a big open area at the back of the ship with a pool and a couple of spas. You can also get your towels over here. There's a towel station and a stage where the band plays. We are on deck 10 at the Commodore Club. This is one of the beautiful lounges on the QE. Let's have a little pan round. The decor is beautiful. It has a panoramic view right round, right round. How many degrees is that? <laughs> um, 180 and maybe a little bit more. No, I think it's, no, it's 180, isn't it? Yeah, yeah 180 degrees absolutely beautiful beautiful seating areas lots and lots of sofas and um, tables lots of space to sit down beautiful big chairs uh, stools at the bar if you prefer to sit there it's absolutely stunning in here um, there is another baby grand and um, we were treated to, oh, it was absolutely delightful last night, the cocktail list and the drinks list is wonderful. Come and get yourself a high quality whiskey or brandy or a cocktail. Sit here, take in the piano, the, 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 the musician playing, wonderful. We are in the Yacht Club. This is also located on deck 10. You can only get to deck 10 from the far end of the lifts far end of the lifts, the front, <laughs> forward of the lifts. Um, this is where the nightclub, this is where it all happens. So we couldn't um, do a voiceover last night because the music would give us a strike. This is, it, it's difficult to see how lively this gets. Really lively, lots of people up dancing, having fun. It was quite a surprise to see after having all the lovely, the luxury and, and the serenity here, come up here after dark and everybody goes crazy. <laughs> everybody goes crazy dancing. This was a great spot to come to. And for a nightclub, it was really friendly and inclusive. In the corridor leading down to the Commodore Club is the Churchill Cigar Lounge. Now, I originally thought that there was no smoking indoors on any cruise ships around Australia, but you can actually smoke cigars in this lounge. You can't smoke cigarettes. There is a notice saying you can't smoke cigarettes, but you can smoke cigars. Indeed, we went last night, or we came here last night, and there were a few people in here smoking cigars. There's a humidor here with some cigars that you can purchase. Not sure, you probably get those from the bar, I think. But um, yeah, this is Churchill Cigar Lounge. And there's another lounge next to the Churchill Cigar Lounge. This is a no-smoking lounge. This is called the Admiral's Lounge. It's a beautiful little lounge. Um, it's a strange setup just at the moment. Maybe there's something going on later today. But yeah, you can just come in here and chill out and uh, have a look out to sea. This is the Admiral's Lounge. So I've come down to Midships on Deck 10, um, which is where the Teens and Kids Club actually are, not up the back. So they're up the, the Midship staircase. And here there is the Play Zone and the teen zone and the kids zone the three kids clubs on the queen elizabeth now i don't know what activities there are on we'll try and find some uh, information about that and we'll let you know if you've enjoyed this video or found it informative please hit like please consider subscribing and if you want to see more of our videos hit the notification button so you don't miss any of them thanks for watching thanks for supporting us and we will see you in the next one